I've seen 27 films this year so far, and we're going to rank them from best to worst. When I had this idea, I thought I was going to have way more, and I got to 27 so far this year. We're at the end of July right now. It's July 27th, and I thought it was going to be way more than 27, but we're committed to this video. S through D, we're going to rank them. Some are a rewatch. Some are absolutely released in 2024. Saw them in theaters. A lot of these are also just like ones I watched on Hulu or Max or like whatever. So anyway, starting off strong. Number one, Iron Claw. Uh, Iron Claw is one of one, two, three, four, five, six films, six movies I saw in January. That's huge. One of the one of the biggest months. Iron Claw. There you go. It's officially a wrestling video. Everyone, everyone, be happy. There you go. You win. S tier, easy. I gave it a four and a half on Letterboxd. I think I'm aware it's probably a four, but also I connected with it so much. Bumped up to an S. Don't care. All right. And apparently on the same day, I saw Saltburn. Saltburn's fine. I would even say Saltburn's good mixed reactions to my friends when I saw it. It's going to be middle of the road. I think there was a little bit of like TikTokification of it. And maybe that's just great marketing, which like is probably what it was. It was fine. People were freaking out. Oh, the bathtub scene. And this is the craziest movie. And this is oh wacky. Ooh, what kind of drugs were these people on when they made this like that kind of tight beat? It wasn't that crazy. It was fine. Saltburn B. B for Saltburn. Bolt burn. All right, we got our first rewatch of the day, District 9. I don't know the general consensus of District 9, but I love it. I think I saw it for the first time, just like saw it halfway through on like FX when they're like, FX has the movies, FX, FX. movies or whatever. Maybe my third time rewatching it. This time watching it, I appreciate it the most. I'm going A for District 9. I had a good time. All right, next second rewatch, maybe a week later. Kind of forgot I rewatched this. Shrek 2. Now, hot take alert. The Shrek movies are good. I do think they're genuinely funny and have a really significant place in culture. However, I do think the whole millennial core, I'm so quirky because I love Shrek and Shrek movies are the best movies ever seen. They're my favorite movies. Is is a little bit overplayed and, 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 and so hyperbolic where it's a little annoying and see through. Maybe a hot take. Like I said, they're fine and good movies. They're a big part of my childhood. Ah, they're fine. It's not higher than a B. Shrek 2 is probably the best of the Shrek movies. I'll say that. Or at least like the main like one through three. They're good, but you know, not everyone needs to make the same joke all the time. <laughs> all right, 500 Days of Summer. You're going to see with this movie, the next movie, I was going through something. Uh, I watched this a little bit after I got, I got diggity dumped. <laughs> so I thought it was going to make me feel better about it. And it didn't. It made me feel worse and sadder. However, great film. I kind of went into it with low expectations or no expectations at all, not low expectations and pleasantly surprised. I love a good, who doesn't love a good rom-com? You know what I mean? I'm going to go A for 500 Days of Summer. Inside Out, this one. All right. Inside Out, this is the first time I've ever seen this movie. This was, we're still in January of 2024. I know I just made a comment about hyperbolic statements, but I don't think this is one of them. Changed my life. Again, Watch this when I was going through that same whatever sort of time. Maybe this is too much information for the internet. <laughs> Oops. I fucking love this movie. I love this movie. And we're going to go full circle here at the end of this list. God, I don't, I think it's such an important movie for everyone to see. But I think like, you know, when you're kids, you all have those movies you all see. Like when I was a kid, it was always like the Toy Stories and Monsters, Inc. And like Lion King. And like, I don't know, those like kind of core childhood movies. I really hope that this is one of those movies. And I think it is. I think this is so important for kids growing up to see and kind of have as a part of their lives. I don't know. Maybe I'm being way too deep on Inside Out. Either way, I love this movie. It helped me out a ton. Um, emotions, crazy thing, huh? Inside Out, S. All right, that's January. We're on to February where we watched five films. First one, Watchmen. Hated this. Oh, I hated this. I gave it two stars on my box. It's not a D. Hmm, it might be D. It's D. Watchmen's D. That movie sucks. Two weeks later, watch The Zone of Interest. Powerful movie. If I'm not wrong, I think this is when we're kind of creeping up on the Oscars, yay or nay. So I'm trying to get in like the Oscar nom stuff in. I also, uh, I saw this on Valentine's Day. Not on purpose, but you know, if we take uh, context clues from the last, uh, from January, I didn't have much going on. So <laughs> saw a zone of interest. I saw it in a small theater. And what I thought was strange is there was like couples there that looked like that was their Valentine's date. Two couples walked out, two couples walked out, which like, I don't blame them. It is, it, it is a powerful 
and tough watch and it's 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 excruciating i just think uh, an odd choice for couples to see on valentine's day really really happy this one for sound design at the oscars that was that was great i think well deserved i'm going i'm going a Okay, Madam Web, here's the one that you all thought was a D, right? Wrong. I had such a good time. And I think that's important. I saw this in the theaters. Uh, it was on a discounted day. So like, it, you know, relax. It's one of the worst movies ever made. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. However, I do really think it's this generation's The Room. And I saw it in a theater and I was crying laughing. And I think that says something. If I had such a good time, it wasn't bad. It's bad, but it, it, the experience is so much part a part of it may be controversial here. Ah, uh, C. <laughs> it's not okay. Okay, let's relax. C, 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 C. It's not D, and it's pretty close to a B. All right, Blue Valentine, a uh, movie that I didn't know really anything about going in. This is just one I just saw on Max, and I was like, oh, Ryan, Ryan Gosling deep cut. Hell yeah. I thought this was phenomenal. I thought this was really great. I understand why it's like a lot of people's favorite movie. It's something, uh, it's it's definitely up there on this list that I would like to rewatch and kind of kind of take in again. It's also, it's also kind of heavy. I'm going A for Blue Valentine. Priscilla. Priscilla wasn't awesome. Wasn't there like, aren't there like three like Elvis movies now or something? There's like an Austin Butler one and Jacob Elordi one. I don't know. I only have seen Priscilla. I think it held back. I think there was way more you could have dove into about Priscilla and the relationship and the trials and tribulations of said relationship, you know? I didn't love it. It was fine. I like Sofia Coppola. Coppola? Coppola? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go. Uh, oh, it's, mm, let's go see. I don't know. I don't, eh, I don't know. It's just what my gut said. I right, we're going to March. I only watched one movie in March. I don't know. I don't know what was going on in March. Not much. Uh, I saw the first Dune in March. I watched that at home. Great. My takeaway. I still haven't seen Dune 2. So, but this was the setup to see Dune 2. Haven't seen Dune 2 yet. I'm working on it. Clearly a setup for Dune 2. I know people praise Dune 2 as like one of the best movies they ever seen. Dune was fine. I had a good time watching it. I guess B. All right, and just like that, we're in April, April Fools, April Not Fools. We are in April. Four movies. April's got a good run. Look at this, look at this April run. Well, you'll see it when we get through it. Spirit Away is the first one. I was on a Studio Ghibli kick. I don't know if you can call it a kick when it's just two movies, but it was my first time like dipping my toe in a Studio Ghibli. In love with them. In love with those movies. They're fantastic. Spirit Away, Spirit Away, Spirit Away. That's an S. Next up, Ponyo. I think I watched that the next day or something because I was like, you know, just knocking out some Studio Ghiblis, which I got to get back to. Ponyo's good. Not as good as Spirit Away. So in the context of this list, it's going to go A. But Ponyo, Ponyo's fantastic. I love the song. I love the the, the, the music. With the Ponyo, 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 Ponyo. What I didn't like was when Ponyo is like, <laughs> it creeped me out with the parts where Ponyo was like half fish, half girl. And it was like this this weird middle ground of fish and girl. And it, it, it creeped me out. So for that, it's going A. All right, Challengers. Back to back to 2024 theatric releases. Challengers I loved. Saw a couple friends. We're all tennis enthusiasts now. Uh, haven't gone yet, but I got, I'm staring at tennis balls right there. Gone for my birthday. I got a tennis racket at the thrift store. $5. Challenges was so much fun. This one also got like a little tiktok ified but I don't think it was ruined at all for it. I think, I think the, the praise and the hype was well deserved. Um, but, 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 but. I think challenges is an S. I don't know if it's going to stay an S if I like, if you look at like the whole year or even if you just look at like 2024 releases, but it's, it's high up there. I don't know. Oh, banger. In the running for the best movie I've seen so far this year, Black Swan. God, I was blown away. I fucking loved this. I think I even talked about this on, on, on a podcast or something. I don't know. Fantastic. I don't know why it's taken me this long to see it. Unbelievable. If you haven't seen it, I think I'm the only person that hasn't seen it. Well, up to this point in April. 10 out of 10. No notes. Unbelievable. May. It's getting warm out. We got four movies in May. Four movies in May. A good batch in May. Here we got Florida Project. Also fantastic. One of my favorite A24 movies. Maybe the only A24. No, Saltburn's A24, right? I'm going. This is all a rewatch, by the way. This is a rewatch. Have I been keeping track of that? This is the first rewatch in a while. Florida Project's also an S. Florida Project might be one of my favorite movies of all time. All right, what do we got? Okay, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is coming out soon. So that means I gotta do some rewatches. We got Rise of the Planet of the Apes rewatch. I don't know where I'd put it between all four of them, but of the first three, I think it's the best of the first three. I really liked Kingdom. 
I think Kingdom and Rise are right next to each other. God, this is good. I love the, the Planet of the Apes movies. I think like, I don't know if memed is the right word, but they were kind of like, I think when they first started to come out, they were treated like the Fast and Furious movies where people were like, they're stupid and you're watching them ironically. And people actually started watching them and they were like, oh, these are unbelievable. <laughs> like they're so good. So I'm going for Rise. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Let's give Rise A. Frick it. I saw the TV glow. Looking at the TV glow right now. Looking at my laptop glow. I saw a TV glow. Fun. Artsy. Indie. Didn't blow me away, but... It didn't blow me away, but I remember being really captivated by it. There's a few problems I had with it, but really good. Highly recommend. Don't need to see it in a theater. There's like a couple parts where it's like really like cool, like, I don't know, effects and stuff, but like watch it at home. It's short too, which I like about it. Uh, I saw a TV glow B. Okay. For some reason I skipped, I think I skipped watching the second one or I skipped watching the third. I skipped one of the Planet of the Apes movies in my rewatch. Anyway, this is War for Planet of the Apes. Again, good. I don't think as strong as Rise or Kingdom. So that's going to be a quick B. So we can then hop into June. Ooh, we got five for June. We got five for June. Kingdom's good. I don't know if I want to put it I know I just said it's with Rise in terms of quality. I had a good time. My heart says B. I also watched Rise with my parents, so I think that kind of gave it a little bump, to be fair. Another all-timer on here, Mad Max Fury Road rewatch. Uh, I think I was getting ready for Fur Furiosa to come out, which is not next, but next, next. This is also one of my favorite movies of all time. I loved this. We'll talk a little bit more about it when we get to Furiosa. This is, I think, a perfect film. This is an S. Am I okay, personally? You know, eh. This film, also, <laughs> also, eh. I don't even remember anything from this. I just remember I didn't love it. I think this is a C. Damn, wait a minute. Oh, that's tough. Dakota Johnson with 2C. I like Dakota Johnson. I think I just, I gotta watch some good Dakota Johnson movies. I think, I think, I think we just had a bad run this year so far. Okay, we're back. Mad Max, we're at Furiosa. Great. I saw it in theaters with some friends. Good time. Had a lot of fun. I thought Anna Taylor Joy was really, really good as Furiosa. She was the standout of the whole movie, I thought. But doesn't hold a candle to Fury Road. I'm sorry. It doesn't. I just love how practical and gritty and it has this like the, the stylized look and I know they're both by George Miller so it's like they're similar I don't know I just it just looked too cartoony and and the CGI wasn't great and and it looked like they just used a green screen for the whole movie I didn't have any problem with the story mine was just the style the look and the tone which they're not too different but Mad Max is just my expectations were, were Fury Road and Furiosa I don't think hit that ah man it's going B. I'm sorry. It's going B. I want to put it at A. I don't know. Listen to my heart here. Twister. Saw Twister for the first time. 1996 film. Is that what it is? 1996. 1996 film Twister. This was great. Also saw this with friends. I think I saw this the day, in a couple weeks after Fury Road. Fury Road. Fury Rosa. <laughs> this was good. Again, I think I saw it maybe half in preparation for Twisters, which I haven't seen yet. Which I'm not really incentivized to see it, to be honest. This was fun. I get why. It's a little bit of a cult classic. I went into it thinking it was going to be like the room or madam web where it's like oh we're seeing this ironically right like it's so bad it's so silly and by the end of it i was like oh that was genuinely a lot of fun and good so for that though i think i'm at a b for it i think it's it's good but it's you know it's not that next level you know what i mean wow and here we are in here we are in july like i said 27 uh i gotta i gotta pick up the pace here for the second half but july i saw two movies both in theaters both new 2024 releases obviously i saw a quiet place day one saw us with friends in theater the reason i preface it with i saw it with friends because I, I see a lot of movies alone which is one of my favorite things to do uh a lot of these on here i saw in theaters alone but this was fine. I think I need to, you know, when you rate something on letterbox and you're coming right off the movie, I think every single movie that you rate on letterbox within the first five hours of seeing it in a movie, give it a week. And then I think you need to take it down a half star. And I think that's your rating. You know what I mean? I had this as a three. I think I probably had it at three and a half and then bumped it down to a three. Now I'm thinking about it. I haven't seen the second quiet place. I saw the first one. I heard the second one is like fine. First one I thought was great and a lot of fun, but the whole mystique and interesting part of it is you never saw the monster really. And that added so much to the suspense and thriller part of it. This they already, even though it is like a pre-prequel and it's like the origin story or whatever, but as a franchise, they already gave away the monster. So it's just kind of like, all right, well, let's just show a shit ton of them. And they kind of had to, because how can you do like no spoilers, but 
how can you do what they did without showing a ton of them? However, I think that took a lot away from it. And my least favorite, I love horror movies, but my least favorite is jump scares. One, I just don't like them. Two, I just think it's lazy. It's lazy and it's just like boring. And it's like, I like a psychological like thriller or scare or like something that gets in your head. This movie, they, they should have just called this A Quiet Place Jump Scare the Movie. It was fine. I'm going C. It should be a low B, but the more I'm talking about it, the more mad I am. <laughs> However, we're going to end on a high note. Inside Out 2, I didn't think it could get better than Inside Out 1, but I was wrong happily wrong uh i think inside out two is better than inside out one by like half a star inside out two five star inside out one four and a half this was great i think the added emotions of envy and anxiety made such a uh, and obviously like, you know, as the girl matures she gets more like of these complex emotions and has to figure that out but i think it added such uh such more of like a rounded kind of like i don't know emotional landscape journey digging into them that it allowed you to do. You know what I mean? It was great. Also one of my favorite movies I've seen this year, but uh, I'm not going to go over all of them, but what we got in the S tier, we got Iron Claw, Inside Out, Spirit Away, Challengers, Black Swan, Florida Project, Fury Road, and Inside Out 2. That's a pretty damn good uh, uh, tippity top there. That's all the movies I've seen in 2024. Ranks, let me know what you thought. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with. If you want to see maybe at the end of the year, I do the whole year. Wouldn't that be crazy? Please leave a like, please subscribe, please follow me on everything. And, uh, and uh, let's keep this going huh let's keep this going check out the podcast kind of stubborn it's here it's everywhere it's on spotify it's on our podcast okay i'll let you go thank you for joining thank you for watching thank you for tuning in blah 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 all right bye